Now I've already added some supports and loading data to my structure. I guess the next step is for me to perform some analysis procedures. No? So yung basic siguro muna yung gagawin ko dito. So um, ito yung mga loadings natin and then ito yung mga supports. Alright, so I've already added some like two loading dito. So dead load tsaka live load. Alright. So i-analyze natin yung structure natin using yung data na na-provide dito. <clears throat> So, although, of course, yung mga data dito, yung mga loading, uh, are, are a bit insufficient. So, dapat dadagdagan pa natin yan kasi marami pang kulang. Actually, we have not yet added some load combinations dito sa uh, mga inputs natin dito. But any, anyway, our, our main purpose for this video is to add some analysis methodology so that we'll have uh, a basic understanding of paano ba mag-add ng analysis procedure or commands and to extract some outputs from it so let's just click analysis right here under modeling tabs and then you can have like analysis command right here or kaya dito na lang so commonly i use this one so yan so pwede nating i-click yung perform analysis dito I mean, uh, analysis command dito and then uh, we'll be given a lot of different analysis commands na pwedeng gamitin. So, we can perform basic analysis command. Pwedeng PDL type uh, analysis. We have perform cable analysis, non-linear. We have um, floor spectrum. We have pushover analysis dito. And other types of analysis katulad ng perform direct analysis for steel. Meron din tayo nung change command dito which will be used later on down the road when we are trying to add add some additional types of loading katulad ng seismic. So for now, ang idadagdag natin dito will be So yan, i-click pwede rin nating i-click yung define command dito. So ang lalabas is the same window. So analysis command or kaya dito sa my define commands. So we'll just have yung basic command which is yung perform analysis with no prints. Alright, all you need to do is click add and we're basically done. We can just run the analysis and see if may mga errors tayo. So, of course, we'll make sure na tama yung model natin. Every element should have their own property. So, da dapat lahat ng mga elements natin merong property. So, to check if kompleto yung properties ng structure, we will go under um, geometry or I mean select. Okay, select and then we have here a selection methodology based by the attribute and under attributes we have their missing properties so commonly when i'm checking missing properties for my for the element of my structure i click on missing elasticity by doing this malalaman natin kung merong mga element na walang property which is which will cause error dun sa analysis later on. So far, wala naman. So, ne, no entity with me, missing elasticity is found. So, I'll just click OK. Um, and then, you can also use the, yung mga geometrical tools to perform yung mga checking, katulad ng duplicate beam, zero length, overlapping, node tools. I'm not going to do those in this presentation. So, uh, after the perform analysis command, I can just run the analysis and check if there are existing errors on my model. So, under analysis and design, kikiklik lang natin yung run analysis or you can just press Ctrl F5 on your keyboard to run the analysis procedure. So, save lang natin yan. Let's just wait until matapos yung computation. And, ito yung report. So, meron tayong titignan dito na mga prompt information katulad ng mga errors warnings and notes if you have errors you'll have to fix them because your model will not work if you have warnings um, these are a little bit less type of notifications pero ang warning kasi parang potential na error din yan so either i-check mo or pwede rin naman na i-bypass mo um, the idea here is you'll have to read yung warning and then you decide kung ayusin mo ba or you can just leave it as is. Pero pag error, you'll have to fix this one no matter what. So it's important. Notes are on the other hand are just additional information on your model. So anyway, uh, to view yung report, um, you can 
go under view output dito and then i-click mo lang yung done para lumabas yung um, viewer ng report. So, eto yung report. Andito lahat yung mga ginawa niya ng mga operation. Katulad nung modeling part. And then, yung part na nag-perform siya ng analysis. Eto yung mga loadings, by the way. So, yung mga notes dito. Eto yung dalawang note na nabanggit dun sa may uh, prompt kanina. Because meron tayong group, floor grouping. So, um, naglagay siya ng notes dito. So, anyway. Um... We have here other informations katulad nung model information, yung numbers of joints, plates, beams, etc. And you have also yung data ng mga loadings and others. So, ito yung end ng running ng analysis. Uh, we have not added any other parameters so hindi siya nagbigay ng iba pang mga data. So, let's try to add some more so that meron pa tayong additional ng mga results. So, under post analysis, Dito lahat yung mga pwede natin gamitin. So, after every analysis, pwede tayong mag-generate ng mga reports. So, commonly, sa basic analysis procedure, kinukuha natin yung mga support reactions, member forces. We can also do that one using post analysis commands. So, i-click lang dun sa post analysis commands and then look for define commands. This time, meron tayong iba-ibang iba -ibang commands which is different from what is presented dun sa analysis commands. So, we can... Make a list of yung mga loadings natin, which is yung dead load and live load. Um, yan. So, para may dagdag lang dun sa report. We can also add... Uh, so, hindi natin na-click. So, add natin yan. Malalagay dito, load list. Uh, joint displacement. I-add din natin yan. Para tingnan natin yung mga display, displacement tong structure. Member forces. I-add din natin yan. Support reaction. Add, add din natin yan. And others also like story diff, etc. Um, for now, we will just add the common reports that we want. So, unahin natin yung joint displacement. I want to determine yung joint displacement ng joint na to. So, iseselect natin yung command. Print joint displacement. Use cursor to assign. So, i-assign natin so, sa joint. Right? So, kung mapapansin nyo, from question mark, naging check mark. Okay, print member forces. I want the member force for this column right here. So, i-click natin doon sa member forces. Use cursor to assign. I-assign natin dito. Uh, print support command. Gusto kong kunin yung support nito. Support reaction. So, i-click natin yung command. Use cursor to assign. Assign. And then, click doon sa my element. And once you're done with the assignment of the commands nakacheck lahat yan then you can rerun the, the analysis and view the results so i-run natin ulit right so save natin let's just wait for it to finish yung calculations and we're done balik tayo sa view outputs dito okay so ito yung mga generate natin ng mga post processing commands joint displacement double click lang natin dito Ito yung displacement ng joint na na-select natin. So, andyan yung translation ng Y, X, and Z. And then yung mga rotations niya. Okay? So, what else? Yung member forces sa uh, number 6. Okay, ito yung lumabas na member forces with yung corresponding load, case, dead load, and live load. Yung joint niya, yung axial. So, by joint lang to, no? So, yung end-to-end -end lang. Okay, so that is for member forces, yung support reactions naman, ito yung lumabas na output ng support reaction. Yan, so yung sa support reaction, meron tayong data for yung type ng loading, load case, and then for yung mga forces, and then yung mga moments. Alright, so that's one way of, provide, of generating reports, which you can just copy-paste on your format your own format if you have your own format or if you want you can set up yung yung information ng structure mo dito mismo ito na yung iprint mo for report for initial report but of course for for i mean formal documents hindi masyadong nirerecommend yung ganito na format so anyway apart from that we can also use what is known as post processing commands so 
So after natin mag-run ng analysis, it is very important na matapos muna yung run ng analysis before we proceed and open yung post-processing command dito. So under workflow, look for post-processing, i-click lang yan. And then you select the loads that you want to include in the report. So I'll select all of them and then apply and then OK. And instead of generating reports dun sa text, pwede naman natin siyang nakatabulate. So dito natin makikita lahat yung mga information katulad ng support reactions. Alright, so medyo overlapping sila, pupunta lang tayo ng select, text, yan, pwede nating ilipat tong mga to. So, visual yung presentation naman ngayon ng results. So, unlike dun sa kanina, naka-text lang, which is hard to pinpoint kung saan ba dapat yung report na yun. But, using post-processing, you can just view yung mga results by... Uh, yung display mismo. So, yan yung mga support reactions, displacement ng nodes. Yan. So, ito yung kinuha natin yung displacement kanina. You can compare yung result dito. So, ito yung result niya. I-compare mo sa lumabas doon sa uh, print ng analysis kanina. Nung nag tayo, may print na lumabas. Pwede mong i-compare sa output dito. Alright. So, ano pa ba? Beam results. Ito yung kinuha natin yung beam result kanina. Ito yung outputs niya dito. Ngayon. So, which is dito dapat yan. So, andito yan, yung mga information. Um, and, what's good with this is, um, pwede mong balik-balikan, unlike dun sa may print. Medyo mahirap siyang tingnan. Mahirap siyang i-check. Okay, and then other things also. And I, I would highly suggest that you, you, while you are doing your own works, try to play with the commands right here. So, hanap lang kayo ng mga... Uh, I mean, you, you navigate them by yourself. No? Try nyo yung mga buttons dito. I-activate nyo itong mga to and then try to look at how yung display behaves. I-click lang natin sila and then um, see if ano ba yung mga changes. Right? So, i-familiarize natin yung sarili natin doon sa mga commands. And with that, I guess, yun na yung last part ng video na to.